Hey, I'm Dre and Michelle, and I'm hanging with Blogzilla on Global Grind. What's up, Dre? Good to see you again. It's always good to see you. Absolutely. Mint Swim. Uh, it's so big now. Everyone, Kylie Jenner just was wearing it. Yes. You knew she was going to do that? I had no idea. I know I sent it to her, but I was just kind of waiting on it. Yeah. Uh, she didn't put the little mint swim thing on there, but she wore it, so that's really dope. When you saw it, what what'd you do? You sort of upstaged her a little bit. You know what? Um, I didn't I didn't think I upstaged her. Um, <laughs> my friend sent it to me and said she was like mint swim or not, nah. and I was like, oh, that is mint swim, and I was like, oh, but you know what? Usually I would be you know bitching about tagging me, mm. but. As a businesswoman, I respect that she's a businesswoman, and I know that she has a, her. Her and her sister just came out with a swim line for Topshop, so I know it's not the time to be tagging other swimwear brands. However, being that she does have a line of her own that's a swim line, and she still chose to wear mine, that's dope, and that, that says a lot. You yeah. know. Um, I love that your Snapchat. Because I ain't wearing nobody else's line. I know that's I'm just what. saying. Uh, I love your Snapchat. It, it shows a whole different side of you. Like we used to see you as a sex symbol, but in your Snapchat, you're su such a mom. You're so motherly. Yeah. Um, why? Did, what was it? A conscious decision to show that part of your life? You know what? Um, at first, I was really anti Snapchat, and then I started to realize like what it was used for and just how temporary everything that you put on there was. So I was just like, whatever. I'm gonna use this to be, you know, uninhibited and just put it all out there. You know, like if if I was more wild i would use it in that way too but you know i just i like showing everything on that because i know it's going to be gone tomorrow and people are going to forget and move on and you know it's just a new day a clean slate every day so yeah. i just try to give as much as i can on there you really show so many levels too you'll be no makeup you'll be cooking oh, you'll yeah. be decked out and i, I like it I, I like that's 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 where i feel like i can be myself you know despite the fact that people can screenshot and do all that I like wearing no makeup. I like, you know, saying, I just woke up, I got a hangover, I got one eyelash on, one eyelash off, you know. I like that I can be myself and it's just not coached and it just, it feels good to be able to do that. Yeah. You broke the internet with Snapchat too. That day you went to the pool, I think it was the blue bathing suit. And oh, it was yeah. like no filter. Yeah. I screamed, I was like, whew, this is my See, <laughs> Okay, what people needed to realize about that was, you know, people were like, oh my God, you know, you're a mother walking around like that. That was my pool. Yeah. So I'm at home in my backyard and no one could see me, but who was recording and that was my fiance. So it's like, yeah, I'm a mom, but I'm at home in the privacy of my own backyard. I ain't walking around, you know, the hotel pool like mm -hmm. that. But, you know, I I can I can go there every now and then. And I like to go there. You know, I like to, I like that wow factor. And when you do go there, it's promotion because you're only wearing mint swim. Yeah, for sure. You yeah. know, it's like I can't help that the cheeks was in it. But, I mean, the, I did throw the bathing suit in there. Yeah. So. You snapped back so fast, like it was like baby, and then boom, photo shoot like a couple weeks. You, but you, you brought us along with that too. You were in the gym doing two a days, but you still get sort of like hate. People would be like, oh blah 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 blah. How does that make you feel? But what do they? The what do they? Oh blah blah blah. Like What's they, blah, they blah, blah, blah. like <laughs> everyone gave you like props for the snapback and everything, but yeah. and and but they don't credit the hard work that you put in in the gym. You know, I just think that we live in a world right now and people are so obsessed with like surgery and they, they just, they don't think that there are still people out there that exist that get it the natural way. And, you know, giving my credit the right way and just respect that I did it the right way and know that it's motivation for y'all, that y'all can do it the right way. You don't have to run out and get surgery. Mm -hmm. How has your life changed having a newborn baby in the house? Man, it's crazy. My, my sons are, 13 years apart so you know I'm dealing with a teenager and a newborn and they're just so different um, and being a new mom is crazy you know like all the new technology and all the, the it's just shape of the bottles the shape of the nipples everything is different so I had to just relearn everything you know even in the hospital the nurses kind of like help you out um, when you when you give birth and I'm like okay how'd you change him again can you show me again like how does that diaper go you know I, I forgot everything so I had to relearn it all uh, what was the delivery like for you like how, how did how did that happen like when when it happened can you talk about that oh yeah sure um you didn't see my my delivery video no I didn't see it what <laughs> oh you have to see it it's on Instagram it's pretty amazing yeah, baby is out 16 17 we're going over guys hey. good job, good job, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
Yeah. Um, you know, I was in labor. Um, I had a really fast labor, and when my son was coming out, I was, you know, determined to have a nice silent labor where I wasn't screaming and doing all that dramatic stuff that they do in the movies. So, you know, I pushed him out in silence, you know, very calm, and then I pulled him out myself, yeah. you know, and flopped him onto my chest. And you showed all this on Instagram? Absolutely. How the hell did I miss this? I don't know, it was it's, it was pretty epic. Uh, and that's because we're friends, like if she doesn't just send me, I'm not like me, like people will send it. Oh yeah, I didn't want to send you that. Yeah. I felt like you might be uncomfortable if I just sent it directly to you. Yeah. You might be like, this is kind of weird, you know? I so. probably would have been. Um, what made, what was the decision like to show that? Say, hey, I'm going to show everyone this. Um, it was Mother's Day. My son was officially a month old and I hadn't, you know, shown any parts of him yet. And I just felt like, um, because it was Mother's Day, it was just time to show the strength that us women had. And I wanted to show my strength and, you know, let people know that I wasn't all, you know, bougie and cooped up in a hospital and like highly medicated and all this. It's like, no, like, look at me. Look at what I can do. Look at what we as women can do. I am so strong. and. You know, nobody could ever take that away from us women that this is this a miracle that we can do. And yeah. I just I just wanted to show people.